coronavirus, we know, has altered everything from consumer spending habits to how we are viewing the world. But will these habits we've developed stick around on our road to recovery? Joining us now to discuss this is Jeffrey's analyst, Simon Powell. Good morning to you, Simon. Good to see you. I know that Jeffries is out with its armchair economic survey about how consumers are coping during this time. What did it, what was sort of the big reveal about consumer attitude for you? Uh, thanks for having me on. Look, so we surveyed uh, 5,500 people across 11 countries. And keep in mind, those countries are at different stages through this outbreak. Some of the key standouts for us were as follows. Number one, the, op the level of optimism, you know, between 50 and 70% of our respondents think that the world will be markedly different when this is over. And they think it will be different for the better. So that's the first thing. Um, second is, is how well some respondents think governments are doing. Uh, we certainly saw this in the UK, to some extent in the US, and definitely in China. Uh, respondents said that governments are doing a good job in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the stuff that they're doing. Um, behaviors are definitely changing, and we think they will change into the future. Uh, by far the most bearish, and you'd expect this, was travel. So people aren't even thinking of booking a holiday in 2021, let alone 2020. So the read-through for the travel uh, and lodging industry is definitely bearish. What was bullish was gaming. Uh, people are playing an awful lot of video games, and we think they're going to play a lot more into the future. Simon, do you, uh, one of the other things that you, uh, the survey is predicting is that this is going to be the end of fast fashion. Uh, why is that? And, and what does that mean for companies, you know, and, and stores like H&M and American Eagle? How are they supposed to adapt to that? Well, I mean, the, the, the read through from all of that fashion and cosmetics is people, because we're all working from home, we're all a little bit more casual. Um, and we're just kind of making do with the wardrobes that we have. Um, the read through isn't good for going to stores. So we ask people, how quickly will you go shopping again? Only one in five of our respondents is going to go out to a physical store as soon as this is over. By far the most cautious were the Spanish. And when you look at how bad the virus has been for them in Spain, that kind of makes sense. They were talking about up to three months before they go back to physical stores. So fast, fast fashion tends not to be online. It tends to be uh, bricks rather than clicks. Uh, and so the read through for bricks is not great. The read through for clicks is fantastic. You know, the, uh, the offline to online switch is definitely accelerating. And what this virus is likely to do is shift consumption patterns into the future towards e-commerce. Uh, Simon, one trend that stood out to me in your, in your report here is that you, there will be an urban exodus. Uh, and to that point, what's the read through for companies like uh, an Uber or a Lyft that have been founded on this, this notion that 21-year-old millennials want to take a photo in front of a new uh, black Uber ride and put it on Instagram. How are those businesses uh, going to evolve after this? Well, it's going to be very challenging. I mean, I think uh, everything I read says we're going to be social distancing for a long time. Um, we're maybe going to be staying home for a long time. People are talking about this thing coming in a couple of waves. So uh, people aren't necessarily going to go back to the way that they were. You know, tr transport is going to definitely suffer. There is a good read through for automotive here because people are likely to get off. Uh, they're likely to get off public transport and get into private cars. Uh, they may be not going to travel on holiday in airplanes, but they may go on driving holidays. So the read through for the read through for Lyft and Uber is hard to kind of figure out here. But certainly we're going to be holidaying at home much more. And our analysts are talking about, you know, staycations rather than people getting on airplanes. Um, so maybe that maybe this maybe it's a double edged sword for some of the uh, some of the ride sharing stuff. I think we didn't ask it explicitly, but the sharing economy, I think that's all up for grabs in terms of the question mark around. Is that really what people want to be doing going forward? They want to travel in their own cars rather than a shared car.
It's amazing how quickly it all just turned on a dime. Simon Powell, analyst at Jefferies. Thanks for those insights. Really interesting stuff. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.